Okay, thank you all for joining us uh, this morning. My name is James Gallagher. I'm the Assembly Republican Leader. Uh, we are here to talk about a very uh, despicable campaign tactic that is being perpetrated by the Democratic Party and Assemblymember Ken Cooley, who's running uh, for re-election. Uh, there is a candidate in this race in Assembly District 7 here in Sacramento who is an avowed proud boy uh, who is, has a history of making racist uh, comments. Uh, he has been renounced and denounced by the Republican Party. And we have thrown our full support behind Josh Hoover, our endorsed Republican candidate who's running a great race and getting a lot of support. And perhaps that's the reason why we're seeing this truly despicable campaign tactic that is being employed. Um, where just three weeks ago, $100,000 was transferred to Ken Cooley's assembly campaign account from the California Democratic Party. And then a few weeks ago, the Sacramento Bee pointed out when they endorsed Josh Hoover, they pointed out that Ken Cooley had a hard time denouncing, making a clear denouncement of this candidate, this Proud Boy candidate. Well, now we know why. Because in fact, Ken Cooley is running ads and putting out mailers that are promoting, that's promoting this Proud Boy candidate for purely political motives so that he can put this person, hopefully gets into the runoff against him. Not only is that a this terrible tactic, uh, uh, but it's quite frankly dangerous. Um, we really need to ensure that we are supporting those candidates who have the best uh, motives and the best intentions, who want to really truly come here to promote the public interest of all people uh, in Sacramento. Um, and so we are calling on the Democratic Party to stop these ads, number one. They need to stop running these ads, and number two, they should come out and publicly apologize uh, for what is truly a despicable campaign tactic. It should be called out, and we are hoping that the media will help us in holding them to account uh, for these deeds. And so without, uh, I would like to first show a, an example of one of these ads that is currently running on TV in here, here in Sacramento. The State Assembly, Ken Cooley is a common sense Democrat, tough on crime, fiscally responsible, leading the charge to clean up the American River Parkway. But Republican Jeffrey Perron is too conservative for our families. 100% pro-Trump, Perron was a local leader in Trump's so-called Stop the Steal movement. Perron even fought local school boards during the pandemic. Trump Republican Jeffrey Perrine, too far right for Sacramento. Okay, and now I would like to ask uh, candidate Josh Hoover to, or, uh, sorry. I'm to go to the next if that's okay. Come on up. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Betsy Mahan. I'm the chair of the Sacramento County Republican Party. And I think it was irresponsible and dishonest for a sitting assembly member to promote an unbalanced member of an organization known to engage in violence and intimidation. Giving someone the false sense that they are on the same level as a longtime politician and propping them up as if they had a chance of moving on past the primary just encourages them to continue to try and be accepted in the mainstream of our party. After our central committee expelled this candidate, our office and our committee members were subjected to threats of violence and intimidation and fear for our families perpetrated by this candidate and his associates. They made it very clear why they were threatening us before and after we took action. It's bad enough that we've had to protect ourselves from Antifa thugs at, at public events but now we have to worry about people who should be sharing our concerns about the direction our state and nation are taking. And we care deeply about California and the nation, but we will work to change our leaders through lawful elections, not intimidation or violence. It was one thing for Attorney General Bonta 
to use the same tactic to promote an opponent he'd rather run against. But that opponent is not a potential threat to society. Whether the person is associated with the left or the right, people who have a history of violence and who promote themselves on social media touting that behavior should not be encouraged. It puts our volunteers, it puts our legitimate candidates and the public in potential danger. Cooley and the California Democrat Party should be ashamed of this self-serving political stunt and they should remove their ad program that only provokes violence and discourages people from voting at all. Thank you, Betsy and James, uh, Summon Gallagher. Um, I, uh, I am very proud to be running as the candidate in Assembly District 7. Um, this is the community that I, that I grew up in. It's a community that I love. Um, and my Democratic opponent, Ken Cooley, and I disagree on a number of policy issues. Um, and I believe this party has been largely ineffective at solving the greatest challenges facing our state, including crime, homelessness, and affordability. But I thought we did agree on one thing. I thought that we both did not want an extremist who engages in threats and intimidation representing our community. I became more concerned about my opponent's position on this when in a recent interview with Sacramento Bee, as Assemblymember Gallagher mentioned, and I'll quote the interview, uh, or the article, Cooley struggled to clearly condemn rival candidate Jeffrey Perrine and a vowed proud boy who was ousted from a position with the Sacramento County Republican Party last year, end quote. Now at that time, many of us thought that may have just been an honest mistake. Now we know that he was simply laying the groundwork for the cynical campaign strategy to promote an extremist candidate in an attempt to mislead Republican voters. Um, this is the mailer that was sent to my household um, that makes it from the Assemblyman, uh, from the Ken Cooley campaign, that makes it very clear, the choice is clear for State Assembly with a photo of Jeffrey Bryan. Uh, Jeffrey Bryan, I will mention, is also now using this mailer in his own campaign to promote his own candidacy. Uh, the, the mailer refers to Bryan as a patriot, a conservative, without any mention to his ties to extremist groups. Uh, Ken Cooley and the Democrat, Democratic Party are spending $100,000 right now on mail, TV, and radio to prop up this candidate, who, by the way, has not raised, reported raising any money of his own. The Cooley campaign is currently funding Jeffrey Prime's voter outreach. I want to be very clear, as Betsy made clear as well, that Jeffrey Perrine does not represent Republican values, nor does he represent the values of Assembly District 7. He has a history of expressing violence towards immigrants, uh, racist views, and his organization has threatened and harassed members of the GOP, many of whom are my friends. I think it's a sad day for democracy when a candidate puts his own political career over doing what's best for our community. But these cynical and deceptive attacks demonstrate two things very clearly. Number one, Ken Cooley assumes that he can beat Brian in November. But I would argue that he is playing with fire by giving a platform to a candidate who otherwise would not have had one. And number two, Cooley knows that he cannot win in November if I advance, which is why he's willing to do anything to keep that from happening. My campaign will remain committed to winning in June, and we will continue to focus on the issues that matter most to Californians, including crime, homelessness, and inflation. That is what will resonate with voters, not this current disinformation campaign being used to mislead them. Thank you. And if we can take any questions if there are any. And I'll just summarize very quickly. Um, you know, I know Ken Cooley. I served with Ken Cooley. Ken Cooley is better than this. And so, again, we are calling on the Democratic Party and Ken Cooley to immediately stop these ads, number one. Uh, number two, they need to publicly apologize uh, for this despicable campaign tactic. And number three, we call on all the people who are currently funding the Democratic Party. Do you understand that this is what you're funding? This is what you're funding. Campaign mailers being sent out to promote a proud boy. The funders of the Democratic Party should also know this and act accordingly. So thank you. We will take questions if, if there are any at this time. Thank you. 